It's okay. It's not okay though, it's not. Um, this judgment that is happening to Hollywood, it is getting ready to take down every superstar that ever was. So while the destiny of the former king of the music world Diddy has been sealed, the world is still to discover what's going to happen with those celebs who have been captured on the hidden cameras while attending Diddy's private freak-off parties, and it looks like some of these secret footage has been leaked. And as insiders allege, another incendiary film with Kim K has already been circulating in the industry. It's not like we should be surprised knowing about her love for shooting intimate films that wind up being online, but this time it's wild. Just when you thought 2024 couldn't get more strange new information, reveals that Kim was quite aware of Diddy's shady actions, and she allegedly supposedly helped him cover up the evidence and even rewarded his victims for a part of the proceeds. ...apparently is paying off, allegedly, some of Diddy's victims from this slush fund through some church fund. Kim Kardashian mama has been making these girls now it looks like Diddy is done, but if you believe that this man is going down all alone, you're completely mistaken. The disgraced music mobile is trying to take down as many individuals as possible. Why else would he be keeping calm? After the raid on his luxurious houses, the feds have acknowledged to have acquired a lot of footage from his parties. But here's the wildest part. Diddy has apparently urged the feds to disclose some of the more explosive tapes during high-profile visitors. And guess who has been caught in a very compromising scenario in freak-off sessions? Kim Kardashian herself, the queen of drama, and while she already had the history of having her intimate life being flaunted, this recent leak is not looking well. I didn't really think anything of it, it was just this is how it has to be and this is just what's gonna happen. Kim's always had a bit of a dubious reputation when it comes to her billionaire position in stardom. But there's chatter that she's willing to violate the rules a bit in order to obtain more cash and build useful relationships. Even in her early days as the stylist for singer Brandy, her reputation was rather questionable. Rumor has it, Kim wasn't exactly playing by the rules back then either. There's some serious speculation regarding Kim getting her hands on Brandy's credit card. As one observer remarked, this was simply the start of Kim's murky operation. This was one Kim K's early hustles. She took and ran up Brandy's credit card. They laundered the funds through their businesses, Dash and Smooch. Instead of squandering it all in one go, it turns out they believed they were being slick by funneling the cash via those stores, thinking it would mix in with Brandy's typical buying spree. But guess what? This little plan was swiftly detected by Brandy's parents. At first, a lady tried to keep things cool, giving Kim an opportunity to redeem herself. I mean, we all deserve a second chance, right? But in the end, Mrs. Norwood sued Kim K and her siblings for stealing up to $120,000 from her daughter's American Express card. However, the lawsuit was dropped and handled privately. Norwood requested the complaint be dismissed with prejudice, which means the plaintiff can't refile the identical claim in court. This dismissal leads people to conclude that the Kardashians and Norwood settled the dispute out of court. According to Adge, this whole financial situation was the final straw in his relationship with Kim. But this didn't stop the Kardashians from establishing their empire full of products. But it's not everything was obtained honestly once you start asking around. Word on the street is they've been playing some clever games with their taxes. Well, of course, if you want to bathe in luxury, you've got to hustle as much as you can. And reportedly, Kim K and her relatives created various valuable relationships with people who assisted them to avoid paying the largest amount of their riches. Well, it seems like the whole family is lying about their profits and where they receive the money. Remember the issue with Kylie when Forbes accused her of exaggerating the size of her empire? The journal noted Kylie's firm is far smaller and less successful than the family has spent years encouraging the cosmetics industry and media outlets, including Forbes, to believe. Looks like Kylie is not alone here, as the whole family has been doing some shady stuff to get hands on the cash and continue living their extravagant lifestyle. And with new leaking, it's evident that are quite near to Diddy. Now, the legal drama may be knocking on the Kardashian's door, and other folks are predicting all these girls are about to be revealed, along with the top industry perpetrators. As one individual stated, Kim is involved and so is her mother in all of the dirty ditty goings-on. She's only trying to get out of it now because she's caught on tape. 
And another commenter said, The entire family is so money-hungry it's horrible. She has done and will do everything for the almighty dollar, and she got a mother who sold them all. But here's more proof concerning Kim K and her being greedy for money. In 2022, the reality star was drawn into a plan relating to Bitcoin. Businesswoman and influencer has been fined $1.26 million for failing to disclose how much she was paid for an Instagram post holding a crypto asset. But it's not like this family was ever considered acquiring their fortune in an honest way. Apparently, all these schemes pale in comparison to what they have been doing for rich and prominent people in order to stay at the top. This clan has always been surrounded by shady characters. Let's discuss for a moment about Chris' boyfriend, Corey Gamble, who's been practically Diddy's right hand in all the dirty activities, including the tragedy of Kim Porter. Now it's believed that he's got close to the Kardashians because of the unlawful business they've all been doing. But as the world has seen the wild double life this music tycoon was living, allegations emerged about Kim's supposed involvement in Diddy's freak-off parties and secret intimate tapes, and then again, Kim's no stranger to having her intimate life revealed online. But today it's more than simply harmless handmade film to increase the reputation and being famous. Diddy's been in significant legal trouble ever since November and Kim K has been feeling the pressure, scared that her followers could start connecting the dots between her and Diddy's dirty dealings. And wouldn't you know it, they did just that. Apparently, this lady sought to distance herself and it didn't escape the attention of some followers that she unfollowed him soon before the raids. There's just possible reason to this. She was frightened of some secrets to be uncovered because, let's face it, Kim and Diddy were tight mates with a history that extends way back. Close enough that he was one of the very few people in the industry she followed on social media to express her loyalty. But then just days before Homeland Security came, knocking on Diddy's door, Kim pushed the unfollow button to save herself. So naturally, individuals started delving into Kim's past and boy, did they unearth some delicious details about her and her family's connections to Diddy's alleged shadiness. And when you connect the dots, it starts to become apparent how everyone in the entertainment business is related. Kim's still very tight with Lou Taylor, the mastermind behind Britney's infamous conservatorship. Lose the brains behind Trister Sports and Entertainment Group and let's just say she's got a reputation for playing rough when it comes to her clientele. While you see, despite this, Kim still works with this shady lady while at the same time, she was praising Britney on her social media. No matter how public someone's life may seem, no one deserves to be treated with such harshness or judgment for entertainment. But who will be surprised at this time about Kim K's duplicitous nature? She has plowed her way through the dark waters of the business world and learned how to dance with the snakes and finally became of them. Now, you might be thinking how deep is the relationship between all these dubious figures. Well, you undoubtedly know that Kris Jenner owns a church. It's called the California Community Church, and it's the biggest swindle ever. Total tax fraud. Kim is involved too, and gives 10 of her salary every year. Churches are exempt from paying federal, state, and local taxes, and their financial records are closed, which is obviously appropriate for this criminal family. Turns out, Lou Taylor sits on the board of that church, and word on the street is the church supposedly received big payments from Diddy to resolve his various issues over the years. This is what happens when you're Kim K and want to put your hands on as much cash as possible. You end up giving 10 of your income to your mom's small tax shelter and indulge in weird antics that wind up leaked online. As one reader noted, she is the queen of freak off. That's what made her famous. And another user said, Please let this finally be the end of the Kardashian-Jenners. The justice clock is ticking and appears like everything is against the industry as more dark truth surfaces about what celebs have been doing behind the closed doors of Diddy's mansion. But folks, what do you think of all this? Was Kim K too close to Diddy? And will her secret also be exposed? And will her secret also be exposed? Drop your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.